This was a day of hope and light and courage and medical wonder for all of us who love our Robin Roberts, which means all of us. This morning, she received her bone marrow transplant, and as some friends gathered, she said to us once again that she knows that all of you at home are watching and with her, and that fills her with strength and joy. In a hospital room, a champion is showing the power of her heart. This journey is as much about the mind as it is the body. You have to change the way you think in order to change the way you feel. And let me just say this lastly. I feel the love and I thank you for it. Thank you. Ready today after 11 days in the hospital preparing for her bone marrow transplant. Her doctor, Dr. Gail Robo, is telling George and her GMA family this morning how the woman who looked so radiant to us was preparing her immune system for this moment. We're going to put the new bone marrow cells. This is the beginning of the rebuilding phase. We've been in the kind of tearing down phase, getting everything ready to accept the new cells. In these last eight days, intense chemotherapy, and even someone as strong as Robin felt it. She's a powerhouse, but she feels crummy. It's hard to get up and even move around in the room. This is somebody who's used to 50-hour days. The doctors supervise how a small group will come into the room. And then her transplant doctor, Dr. Sergio Giralt, enters with the transplant cells from Robin's sister, Sally Ann, and a joke. What part of let's not have crowds did we not understand? <laughs> Surrounded by Sally Ann, her sister Dorothy, and friends, before it begins, the room grows quiet, and Sally Ann makes Robin smile with an old song about getting this job done. <laughs> then her pastor leads all of us in prayer. So right now, we bless this moment. And so on this morning, September 20th, 2012, this new birthday for Robin, her father and mother are looking down, watching over her, her brother, her sisters, her beloved family at Good Morning America, and all of us at ABC linking arms around her as you at home watch and join this cathedral of prayer. And as a song she loves says, there ain't no mountain high enough to keep her from you. And I want to bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, who has watched over her so amazingly, Rich. You know, a number of people have come up and said, a transplant, it must mean surgery. How long will the surgery be? Right. Uh, that's the question I get all the time. How long is the operation? And it's really incredibly miraculous. To, to get a bone marrow transplant, all it is, in less than 10 minutes, Dr. Sergio Duralt injected bone marrow cells, millions of them, into, into her body through a vein. And they just go in, they set up shop, and they do their incredible work. And I know that she wants everyone out there to know that you can donate, you can donate, you can join the registry That's and right. save so I many mean, lives. There have been such an outpouring. About 7,000 people have one of these every year. There are thousands still waiting. But in response to Robin's call, tens of thousands of people who hadn't thought about it have signed up. And you know, in her honor, the more people who do that, the, the easier it will be for her. And we've been saying to each other, she is amazing, amazing every moment in this. And only Robin Roberts could have disco balls Incredible. on the Ivy stand <laughs> next to her. I don't know if you saw it there. Such yes, be sure to watch tomorrow morning because there will be a lot more on what happened today on Good Morning America with all her beloved friends there. And be sure to check in as well on abcnews.com.